So looking at strategy formation with regards to the five levels of the um, positive impact um, model, which is the model that we use in Purposeful Innovators, um, and remembering that this model actually aligns with how we think and the neuroscience and, and of the brain um, on the levels and the characteristics of each of the five levels. So when we're applying that then to our work and how we've been forming um, our strategies in Pi um, and our solutions, um, we have what actually um, forms a pattern of a level five, then level one, two, three, four, five, which is what you can see as you um, cast your eye down on the left hand side. So from a level five is starting off with looking at our intended impact um, in any project uh, and what we want to be achieving out of it with regards to that vision and that, that um, positive consequence or result at the end of that, um, of the end of our achievement, if you like. From that level five, this is where we spend, in new projects, this is where we spend most of our efforts on the um, really understand what the imbu is. Um, I'll go into the imbu on the next slide in a little bit more detail, but just very quickly, it's about the information, the meaning, the benefits, the evidence of success, and then action. And then from action, we move into the ACT acronym of amplification, collaboration, and tenability. And we always maintain this from the level five position because that gives us the highest perspective that we can achieve with regards to what happens next. From the level five, we then um, move into taking immediate action, which is identifying our, our immediate resources. What can we do uh, immediately to assign resources and understand what assets we have that would work to building up to that vision? And this is um, a very, very much aligned with generative coaching and generative thinking models, where you look at where you can move to immediately and a positive, uh, what's in hand, that way of thinking, rather than um, what often, like when I'm coaching clients, they will look at what they don't have, and that actually just delays things and creates obstacles. So we move straight into that level one resources from that level five position, moving into level two, which what can we do with those resources? Um, humans are actually excellent resources with regards to knowledge assets um, and where we are on our collaborations um, at this stage of Pi's growth has been very much about human resource and how our collaborators are forming together to create the solutions um, based on a shared impact. On the transactional level, which is level two, we look at what we can exchange or communicate and what processes, and this is kind of very much the process and procedure level, um, communications, keeping things flowing in, a, in through the system um, on that transactional level. Um, moving down to level three, we identify what needs to work. So this is very much the project management system, um, what actions and operational um, things like SOPs, what are the actions that um, uh, need to be in place for that impact level to happen. And because those resources are everything that we have already in hand, it means that we can move to aligning our, um, or coordinating our actions uh, immediately and be moving into um, already aligned with our delivery. At a level four, it's more the strategic motivational human intention with regards to where do, how do we wanna be moving into our mission um, based on what we can, um, what we've already learned through the um, strategy formation at this point in time. And then at a level five, it's the um, evaluation of our impact and the reporting. Now, remember with the strategy formation, you're already in a position that you're planning forward just by doing this. So this is really how, to, how we have been planning, planning forward through our projects that has got us to where we are now. And what happens at the level five is that we go into how do we then evaluate um, the actual against the plan and the strategy that we've formed. Has anybody got any questions about this slide?
fantastic. So looking more into um, the uh, content structure against that plan. So now looking at how we would uh, strategize our content. Um, we have um, uh, formed content according to this plan with the microsites that we're creating, with the websites that we're producing, with proposals that we've um, created. And on the list, there's a, a whole list of things that we've applied um, the concepts the, the content structure too, um, that has facilitated the, um, the way that we impart information. So we've got proposals, press releases, presentations, articles, explanations of anything, um, training courses, brochures, flyers, content plans and websites. And the, the, the five, one, two, three, four, five content structure means that um, people start off with the big picture and it zooms down into detail as the information comes across. It's a really effective way that we can facilitate learning. Um, I've facilitated my, my Power 5 coaching um, program is, is delivered on this where each session addresses each of the levels in that order. And it means that each, by having that level five and then building up level one, two, three, four, five. Um, by the time you get to level five again, the client's actually learnt um, to follow a very um, brain aligned way of processing the information and the experiences. So level five is the biggest picture that we want to achieve. Um, four is, um, how the, so when, sorry, I'll, I'll just backtrack. When we're learning the information, it's a five, one, two, three, four, five. When we're explaining the information, it's a level five, four, three, two, one. Um, so when we're actually reporting on what happens, it's, it makes better sense for people to have read the learnings in a five, four, three, two, one inform, information pattern. So this is, um, this is how it translates then into um, the different types of content that we have. So from a level five, it's what we want to achieve or what we have achieved um, against our goals. Level four is um, what the strategic plan is in place that is going to make the difference and, and create that achievement. Three is, is the really functional, um, the components and how it all works and how it comes together. Two is what to expect in the process. And then level one is, is what data and reporting is required and what calls to action we want from the audience with regards to um, them needing detail and the de details that we need from the project. So hopefully that has made sense. Has anybody got any questions about this slide? It gets clearer each time. <laughs> compounding, compounding. <laughs> Little snippets. <laughs> okay. Rania, I would just add on, on that uh, list of um, tools, case studies. I will add that. Thank you, Rahma. And you're right. And so very, mu very much looking at how we, because we are imparting information in the way that we want our audience to learn what we're doing, um, following the communication, so what we're calling through communication revolutions, it is the learning revolution, MBIA. So um, the, that MBIA then becomes um, the intention of the strategy, which is defining big picture vision or the what, um, the M, which is the value and meaning, is the why and why it's important for our community. Um, B is the benefits of how um, of success and successful delivery and how it, it who it benefits and how it benefits. Um, e is the evidence of success. Um, how do we know we've succeeded? How is that expressed? How success is expressed in in what we've um, impacted? And then finally, the, uh, the act is um, 
more granular detail of when the events and schedules are happening and how are they reported from a data point of view that then gives us new information by which we can then reevaluate our strategy and redefine the big picture of what again. And these are continuous cycles that are based on the learning revolutions, which you can have access to in the previous um, meeting slides with regards to the education piece. Um, with our information, we may not always start off with the I. So um, Wendy and I last week were looking at training um, programs and where information starts off when we've got a, um, participants of training courses. And we were saying it was starting off with the why in that point of view, for that um, instance in that context, we then move, would still move in the same order. So it will be the value and meaning, then the benefits, evidence of success, act, and then moving into that um, intention, what happens next um, with a new cycle. So it's always in this order, but it's a continuous process moving forward, very much like a wheel or a revolution, which is where the word revolution comes from, because it's just constantly revolving um, in the same order. Any questions around this slide? Fantastic. I think um, one of the things, the key things with, with marketing is um, understanding that we are with the innovation projects or new ideas, which we are um, doing, it's the education piece that we need to take our audience along with us. So we're actually putting them through the revolutions, our learning revolution format as we do that. I'm going to now stop recording and hand over to Wendy.